So I don't actually have a brew because I'm going to make one in a minute when I give you a tour of my new place, which I'm actually finally in. Um, so I was supposed to move in at the beginning of May and I think that might have been when I last did a video. Actually, no, it might have been the end of April. I don't know. The last time I did a video was bloody ages ago. So I thought... I would do one now to kind of explain what the hell's been happening and why the fuck I didn't actually update anything and then give you a tour of my actual new place. So I was supposed to move in the beginning of my, uh, beginning of May and then got delayed because of gas and well actually I don't really know why it was delayed. It was initially delayed because of gas. I still don't have gas so it's only just taken them four months to install gas which they've not done. So Basically, I was supposed to move in the beginning of the month, they told me there was no gas, so to wait until next week, so the week afterwards came along, and there was still no gas, and they said, well, you can either move in with no gas or not move in, and I said, may as well move in with gas. Uh, then they said, and they delayed it again for another week, and then said, uh, if you're not in by the end of next week, you will be put in a hotel or we'll put you in the place. So, finally I'm in the place, and there's a few little bits and pieces that's still wrong with it. Um, still no internet, still no gas, and yeah, I'm still slowly getting my own kind of like feel and um, my own kind of character on the place. It's still echoing here because there's no stuff in here, pretty much. Uh, I have a TV, which is in behind the camera, which I'll show you in a minute. I have a, a, an IKEA TV cabinet thing, a laptop, a few bits and pieces, but no rugs, nothing to dampen sound. So at the moment, it is insanely echoing in here, and uh, yeah, so. I'm also filming this on a solid gore for a minute because I wanted to test it out and see what it's like. I think it's a bit shit. Um, somebody at work, somebody I work with said about it and said, oh, you should get an 80s lens. I was like, I've already got a 50mm pancake lens that's made by Practica, that's perfectly fine for me. And he said, oh, I'll test this lens out. So I tested it out and from a using standpoint, it's great, but the glass is shit. So it looks really, if you zoom in, you can see, like, uh, I don't know, like, some of the shadows are really, really soft. It kind of, it's kind of like there's no polarising in it, for a start. And secondly, it just kind of looks a bit weird. It's just a shame, because it's a damn good lens to use, just not a damn good lens to look at. So if you're taking pictures through it, it looks shit. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to make a brew, and I shall take you on a tour of the... Well, I was going to say house. It's not a house. The room, because it's just a room. Uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> So it has a brew. That was actually a pretty shit brew. I've got um, PG tips at the moment and it just tastes a bit shit. I've also got, my kettle currently is um, Breville, I don't know, something, Breville Hot Cup. Um, I've not decided whether or not I like it yet. It's kind of a bit, um, I don't know. It only, it, because it's, cause it's not a proper kettle, it can only do, really do hot drinks and only hot drinks for one person. It can't do more than, anything else. So it can do like, if I wanted to make a pot of tea, I couldn't really do that, which is kind of a bit of a pain. So when I get gas uh, on my cooker, which has currently no gas, when I get gas, I shall hopefully get a hob um, oven and, a uh, hob oven? Um, a hob teapot or hob kettle and kind of go from there. So this is my humble abode. It is a little bit messy at the moment. I have had a bit of a tidy up, but it's kind of a little bit shit. Um, acoustics are crap at the moment because there's nothing really in here. Um, so let's start on the business end of the room. Um, so I'm not going to show you outside because if you know roughly where I live you'll then be able to figure out roughly which house I'm in and I don't really necessarily want that too much for a minute. Um, not that it really matters but you know there's some weird people around about so hey whatever. Uh, so for a minute we've got a laptop and TV. So this is, I bought this um, IKEA uh, I think it's an IKEA PS or something, um, and it's kind of like, it's alright, it kind of does a job, it's um, like a locker style fully metal thing which is quite cool. The only downside is, I did want the outside to be white and the actual doors to be blue or red, but I couldn't actually do that which is annoying, unless I bought two kits and then just took the doors off of one and then sold the other one or whatever. But yeah, so that's kind of annoying. Um, my pelly gates are still going strong. I've been using that for the past couple of months to kind of live out of. And my, um, what is that? It's a, 
a Heli Hansen uh, bag. It's like a 90 litre bag, so that's cool. Bravo TV. It isn't one of the official World Cup TVs, but that's not why I bought it. Um, in actual fact, I bought that TV, which is kind of that one down there. Um, I bought that TV because it's an insanely good gaming TV. So I was trying to look for a decent gaming TV that was not going to cost me two grand, which seemed to be nigh on impossible. I saw this specific model in two different flavours. So I saw it in the 42 inch or 32 inch. I decided to save some money like an idiot and bought the 32 inch model, which is a little bit too small. It kind of looks okay in the space, but it's kind of like. I don't know, kind of like when you're sitting back from in behind the sofa, it's a little bit small. Um, I could have done with it being a little bit bigger, but hey, there you go, that's kind of that really. All to focus on this camera, because I've switched away in your sound, it's fucking horrendous. Um, so it's currently connected to my PC, I do have an Xbox in under here, which is actually the Advanced Warfare version, because it was a damn good price, and because, well actually it looks fucking sexual basically, that's literally really the only real reason I bought it, because it looks fucking insane. Um, maybe I'll do a bit of a proper tour or something later on because I've got the ISO set on this so it looks a bit dark and gloomy in there. But the, I mean this, this cupboard is really sweet, it's kind of like, I like the locker feel to it, I like the fact it's got vents in it for my Xbox, I like the fact it's blue. And yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a lad's pad kind of situation going on. Um, I work bag, well I say work bag, it's a work bag I take to work every day. Um, camera, which obviously you know my EOS M, which is kind of just there, which I and my Sonic All Lens. Well, I say my solid all lens, not actually mine, it's work solid all lens, but uh, it's one I'm kind of borrowing for a minute. Tractor bombs just one tonally strewn about all else we've got up here. The kitchen situation, so starting from this end, obviously a dual lit toaster. I saw this in Comet for the value of 98 great, great British pounds, which actually is a lot of money for a kettle, kettle, um, for a toaster, but I thought it was worth it. Like, it is 98 quid, but number one, it looks fucking sexual. Uh, and number two, it makes bloody good toast, which you kind of hope for 98 quid. Also the Breville Hot Cup, which does Brita filtered stuff, because the water in London is fucking horrendous. Like, it's so horrendous that it stains everything. So when you make cups of tea, it's fucking disgusting. Water in the North London seems to be better and softer than water in South London. That's what I seem to have found anyway. Unless it's just because I'm living in Southwark, because that's why I'm currently living where I'm living in Southwark. I don't know why that's because the water in Southwark is different to the water in Islington slash Barbican, which is where I work. I have no idea. Um, so yes, I bought one of those, and I also bought a Brother Filter Cup thing, which, to be honest, um, and also some XL. This is from Lidl, this is fucking insane. Uh, Little Audi, I can't remember, it's like a yoghurt drink, it's fucking amazing. And also a huge tub of yoghurt, because hey, why the fuck not, and a half empty fridge with not very much in it because I uh, own oh, Parmigiano, Oregano, or whatever. I've uh, not actually made any cheesy cheese dishes yet. Um, the cupboard door doesn't close properly because my landlord's incompetent and needs to get that shit sorted. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh yes, breakfast cereal. I, talked, I, I stocked down on breakfast cereal the other day because number one, I love breakfast cereal. Number two, I didn't have anything else in the house. And number three, I didn't really want ready meals for the rest of the month. I also went into the pound shop the other day and bought some of this shit, which is crap. So this is like a poor man's Nutella, and it's awful. It would taste probably quite nice in like a cake, or maybe if you made like a cheesecake out of it, it'd be quite nice. Popping candy chocolate spread from Sainsbury's is amazing, and also some Biscoff spread. If you don't know what Biscoff spread is, go and get some. If you don't know what Biscoff is, get the fuck out, unsubscribe, because that is... Um, the mess, best thing ever. PG Tips I had to dirty myself with because Tesco's had nothing but PG Tips, Tetley, and their own brand shit. Tetley is the worst tea ever in the history of ever. PG Tips is probably the second worst, uh, but I didn't want to go with Tesco's own value because they're uh, they're just shit. So that's kind of that. Oh, seriously, curiously cinnamon even, even though it was originally called something like cinnamon grams. Um, that stuff is fucking insane, although it does leave a weird residue about the place. Um, cupboards wise, there's nothing really in any of them, apart from, and this is fucking really nice, I like these. So I went into Fortnum and Mason and picked up some of their caddies and shit, let's get one of these things out. So this is going to be eventually, once the builders stop coming into my place and ruining things, will be my tea storage facility. Uh, I bought a few other bits and pieces like that in Fortnum's and uh, yeah, and including actually, which I'm still not used, these funky mugs, so that way. So I bought some of these mugs as well because they're really cool and they're made out of terracotta and I just love them. They're just I don't know. I saw them, I saw them in Fortnum's like ages ago. I thought I must have them because they look amazing. Uh, where, where else do we go now? So pretty much that is pretty much it. 
shoes and Adidas slides. Uh, there's a story behind having one of those. It's basically for showering in public domain. <laughs> So when I used to be a student, well, I don't know, it wasn't even then. I was actually after I was a student, I was in a shared house. I hated walking to the bathroom with my bare feet because the house was never properly clean. So I used to wear them to the bathroom, went into the shower, and then when I left the shower, I used to wear them because they, and they also do have the union flag on it. And they cost me all of about five quid and they're insanely comfortable. So really, this is kind of, as if I take a step back, this is literally my home. This is it. So there's nothing really, I'm not gonna show you the toilet because it's disgusting and there's nothing exciting in there. So it's really small, which is kind of a bit shit and it's not very cheap because it's London. But hey, um, it is my own space to do whatever the fuck I want in, which is great. So that's like the first time in seven years that's ever happened. So this is amazingly good, um, which kind of makes a change because say usually I'm not, um, uh, I've had to be sharing with my family and with other people and yeah I can do whatever the fuck I want. I should be able to make as much noise as I want although it depends on how thick these walls are. I don't think they're very thick so. Uh, I'm still waiting on internet. I'm still waiting on, what else I'm waiting on? Um, gas. So I still need that shit to be sorted uh, and then I should be good to go. Um, but yes it's really cool and also I forgot to mention this. My pillow which I picked up in Tesco's the other day Life is short, eat more cake. I saw that and thought I must have it because why the fuck not? Because it looks amazingly good, including my vest. Uh, I don't, I generally wear a vest if I'm around and about chilling because it's nice and comfortable. Um, but I, don't, I would never wear that, leave the house wearing this. And actually, I'm still a little bit conscious that I'm wearing this on YouTube because I look awful in vests. But it's comfortable as hell. And when I'm playing Xbox, it's amazing. So there we go. I think that's pretty much it. I do need to do some um, Google I.O. stuff, so that'll be coming up like in the next couple of days. Uh, what else do I need to do? I could probably do with doing a few more videos, but I'm gonna wait until the internet comes along, and hopefully we all should be cooking on gas, hopefully. Uh, both figuratively and metaphorically cooking on gas, which would be good. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. I might do a tour of Southwark maybe at some point, or even more with Road, which is where I live. Uh, and show you what the sights and sounds are around Southwark, but I may also not because I may also get stabbed in the face with why something, I'm not too sure. Um, but yes, I think that's pretty much it. So apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.